Hi everyone and welcome to another video from me, Jason, at Screen Photographic. I hope you're doing well. Uh, now you may notice a different setup this time to what you've normally seen and that's because I finally got my new monitor. Hooray! It's uh, a 4K monitor, um, which I'm very looking forward to getting my new graphics card soon and it will allow me to do so many more wonderful things in terms of these videos, post-processing -proce of photos and, um, and tuning one or two other tricks of the trade as well. Um, but what I'm going to show you today is how to enhance eyes in GIMP. Uh, now you might remember a video I put up about six months ago on changing eye colour on a photo. Uh, and this follows in a similar vein. Uh, and I've got an image here, which I'll show you now from a photo shoot I did um, just yesterday in fact. A young lady called Tara, um, who's absolutely fantastic to work with. And I really like this photo. Uh, you notice her eyes are quite blue. And because we shot a natural light with no flash, there was no way we could bring those eyes out uh, beyond the lighting that we already had. So I'm going to show you a little way to edit those. It takes no time at all. Uh, you'll need GIMP and you'll also need to download the GMIC plugin, which I'll put a link for you um, down below on where to get that from. And that works on Windows, Mac and numerous different flavours of uh, Linux as well. Uh, and I'm also using the latest version of GIMP, which at the time uh, of recording this video is 2.10.20. You may well have a different version with one or two different features um, by the time you come around to um, edit this video, uh, or edit these photos, I should say. So, let's go and open our image. Now, I've got mine saved on the desktop, so we'll quickly grab that image of Tara here. Now the first thing you want to do is come over here to the layers menu and right click and click duplicate layer and we're going to do that one more time um, just in case we make a mistake we haven't impacted the base layer and we've got a backup copy okay and what you want to do now is also zoom in now there's a couple of ways you can do this you can either use the slider here um, and zoom into a percentage maybe 100 percent which is what we're going to work on uh, or depending on your image you can work um, off closer if you need to. Uh, now you see I've got the dodge burn tool up here which is the last one that I've worked. Um, that's not the one that we want to work with at the moment. So we want to come up here to our tools panel and pick the lasso tool, the free select tool, whatever you want to call it. Okay. And all I'm going to do now is press control on the keyboard, move up the mouse wheel. It's going to a little bit closer to the eyes. And we're going to take the lasso tool and we're just going to come around the outside of the iris here like this. Now try and keep it exact if you can. Um, but I'll show you with the points what happens if, if you feel you do need to adjust the individual points once you've um, gone around the, uh, the inside of the eye. Um, also look out for if the eyelid meets the top of the eye. You'll get some strange colour contrast in um, at the end of the edit. And then just match up to your start point. That's selected. Make sure as well that for the edges are selected. I've got mine set to 12. Um, but 10 should be enough. And this is in a rate of pixels. So it's a very, very small increment. And it should just look a little bit more smoother once the edit is done. Rather than any jagged lines or edges that you might see. Uh, we're going to come over to the other eye now. And we're just going to press control again on the keyboard. Or up on the mouse wheel. If you haven't got a mouse wheel, of course, you can use this. I'm just going to do the same thing with this eye. So Now you may need to click off the tool. What should happen if you have this box here selected from the lasso tool, add to current selection, you should be able to press shift and then start drawing um, onto the other eye as well. That doesn't always work for me for some reason. I've noticed it with this version of GIMP, so whether or not that's a, a bug or a glitch in the software, I'm not certain. I mean, just click off the tool, click back on it. GIMP remembers your last settings and you can just go in and do the same around this eye. And then if you do need an image, you can get lots of stock images off places like pexels.com. Um, try and credit the person who took the image if you need. It tells you some of the free stock sites don't do that. Um, but you want, a, you want an image maybe with darker eyes. If you search for dark eyes or, or unedited eyes, um, then you should find a decent image. So let's press control again and let's roll the mouse wheel the other way. 
Okay, now what you'll see is a selection with the points that we've just made on both eyes. Uh, and these could be adjusted if you needed to change onto the other eye. You simply click and you could do that. But we don't need to change any of these points. What we want to do now is come up to Edit, click Copy, or you could press Ctrl and C, and Edit, click Paste. And that's made a floating selection. So what that's essentially done is made a copy of the layer for you to work in. Now, it won't affect any of these layers underneath it. You're working purely off a traced copy of those eyes layers. So you really can't make any mistakes to anything else. Um, and what you see as we go along, we'll turn this layer off. And just as we go along, how it will impact the eyes uh, on making the edit. So once you've done that, you've got a number of different controls up here at the top. Um, don't worry too much about them. You should have colors enabled by default. And if you go into tone mapping, you can go to Reinhardt 2005. That makes the eyes blown and, and look a little bit strange if you like Children of the Corn like. But with these sliders here, you can change your settings. So I'd always recommend you have your uh, chromatic adaption right to the top. Now your brightness you want to push down, but not too much. Um, obviously the further down you go, the darker the eyes will become. It'll kind of impact what you're doing. I'm going to go to about 0.60 on this one. Uh, and your light adaptation you want to bring down as well. Do you want to get this close to the natural colour of the eyes as you can? Um, now you can slide down by holding and clicking until this large arrow appears and make adjustments to where you want to go to. So we're going to come here about 0.412. I think that looks pretty good. As a preview, turn it off. Preview, turn it on with our settings just made. Let's push it up just a little bit more. Say 450, shall we? I think that's going to look pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So click OK. OK, now you'll see now, um, you might not be able to see it so clearly unless I zoom in, so I'll do that for you now. As you zoom in and closer, it may be that the eyes maybe don't look as, as, as you would expect them to do so. Um, so if I zoom out again, sorry, and come up to the eyes, we'll be quite close in here. They've still got a lot of detail in you, and try and retain that detail with that first edit where you can. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go to uh, GMIC. Now, GMIC is a tool which sits within GIMP, which has a number of different filters and files. In the latest version, GMIC 2.9 has come out. Um, I don't have that version yet. I haven't yet got around to downloading it. I have GMIC version 2.8. Um, some of the features you have may be in slightly different areas, depending on which version that you're going to use. Um, or you may have the same version as me. Uh, again, I'll put it on the website we can get it from. It's quite easy software to install, and there's lots and lots of cool things. Some of those um, light techniques and sort of shifting patterns of light, adding things like fog to an image or you know, sun rays, things like that, that can all be done through here as well, just at the click of a button uh, with sliders that you can change. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to go into the details panel, which is here, but halfway down. And there's a number of different tools you can see which all do different things to the image depending on what you want to do. Um, and some will just affect the eye, some will affect all of the face, um, high pass, freaky deeps, which we'll come on to in a bit. We want to equalize local histograms. Um, and the strength slider you can push kind of whichever way you want. Um, I'm going to set this to about 85. 85 and we're going to hit apply and we're going to come down to freaky details to, to make the eyes pop just a little bit more um, you could push the scale if you wanted the amplitude uh, obviously the more you do it the more the uh, chromatic aberration on the bottom of the eyes it will push these pixels out and then undo the feather which you've already done um, you can push the scale um, and that just makes the eyes seem quite black or you know, a little bit soulless if you like so we're going to keep that sitting around maybe the 14 mark so we'll go we'll go 13.8 
this is going to vary as well depending on the eye color and the image that you're working with these settings won't be the same so experiment and, and kind of kind of play with them um, with your settings and, and look see what looks right for you without making the eyes look too um, pixelated or, or look too grainy um, now what we want to do the last edit in this section is come down to sharpen tones and hit apply on there as well so these eyes are looking they look a little bit strange here but when you see them in the context of the picture they'll look pretty good um, and finally you need to come up to colors click the drop down arrow go across to um, color presets which is here uh, and this brings up a um, so if I look um, different artistic styles of color um, and depending on what you're creating in GIMP um, will depend on how you use it. I mean Lutify me you've probably seen Lutz already um, in my dark table videos. If you're a filmmaker you'll be familiar with all of these um, and I believe you can transfer them between Photoshop and GIMP uh, and there's lots and lots of websites you can get free Lutz as well which you can install into your software um, with a little bit of technical know-how. So let's go to others and then in the presets drop down here um, you want to go to uh, smooth chromish just give that eyes a bit more of a chromey look now that's looking a little bit strong for me so let's bring it down just a little bit so we about 60 shall we say yeah let's do that 60 just out of interest Cool. I hit OK. Now we're getting somewhere. You see the eyes have changed colour. So if we hit Control, we move the mouse wheel again. You see the difference in the eyes if I turn off the original there to this layer. They're looking pretty good already, but we haven't quite finished. Come to the top here, go to default, go to your drop down menu and scroll all the way down to HSV value and just reduce the opacity just slightly I'm going to come down not by much at all to about 75 let's see how that looks then you can anchor your layer down to make it a proper layer and there you have some pretty cool enhanced eyes for an image that you're working on. Now you may not be done of course, you may remember at the start I had the dodge burn tool selected um, and it's quite simple again if you um, mouse wheel in use your selection arrow let's go in at say 66% you can use a dodge burn tool you want to dodge for the highlights with a fairly small brush um, let's go for the smallest fuzziness and you can just brush in and just whiten these eyes up just a little bit without it looking too unnatural which that might be if you do make a mistake it's control Z on the keyboard the longer you keep your finger on the mouse button and roll the harsher the effect will be so I advise small incremental clicks And you can zoom right out. Let's go 50%. Looking good. Let's go at 25%. Eyes maybe not looking so great when compared. Um, don't look too bad. You can control Z if you weren't happy with any of the edits that you'd made with the um, dodge burn brush. There we go. That's looking a bit better now, isn't it? So that's our edited layer. That's our backup layer. This is our base layer. These two are exactly the same, hopefully, if you haven't edited any of them. And that is how you enhance eyes quite quickly in less than five minutes on GIMP. I will see you in the next video. You will look after yourselves. Take care.